Bonneville, where are we? Uh, we're in a village where we used to live a few years ago in uh, on the high street in Broadway. We're in Broadway, Worcestershire, hmm. absolutely. And we are going to do a little walk up to Broadway Tower. <gasps> Take you along with us. Usual rules apply. Thank you ever so much for the lovely feedback on the vlogs to date. If you're watching our Austria series on our BMW GSA, the link will be in the description or smart TV in the whatever. You know what you're doing. Right, let's go get some food and we'll take you to Broadway Tower. <gasps> Goodbye. Bye. Yes, this is where the magic happened. This is where we fell in love and became best friends. Yeah, it was lovely. And we're no longer in love and we're no longer best friends. <laughs> so we are. Yes, we're in Broadway. The wonderful, wonderful. We're a little bit biased we lived here. Field. We used to have such a laugh. We used to put a picnic thing on the field. Oh, it just, we just have such great. Yeah, we did. So look, we're going to go up to a, a place called Broadway Tower. We're going to take you along with us and give you a few updates as usual on the uh, life and times of Mr. and Mrs. Bonneville. Um, this is where, if you like the, the um, series Father Brown. Father so Brown. Like, a lot of it was filmed in and around Broadway. The station looks exactly like it does on, on Father Brown because it's like... It's recreated back to the 40s, 50s, whatever. Oh, it's just fabulous. It's lovely. Right, which way, Mrs. Uh, you're B? wondering what the hell has Love Life Tribe become? Has it become a horticultural show? But we just want to flip around. If you ever are in Broadway, you need to come to this building here, which is now known as... Sense. Sense on the green. <sighs> because behind me is a wisteria. One of my most... Oh, God, I love wisteria. Look at the size of that. And trust me, when we lived here, when this is out in full flower, it is simply stunning. Now, you can tune out, you can thumbs down, but I don't care, because that's a wisteria. And that's my wife over there doing social media on Broadway High Street. And up there is a cloud that I think is going to give us a little bit of trouble. Right, come on, onwards, as well, they we say. probably won't show you much of Broadway because we're actually leaving the village on the walk. But um, we're on the village green. And if you ever are in the Cotswolds, you have got to come to Broadway. It is, well, I'm biased. I lived here, lived here with Mrs. Bonneville. Love it. Do I miss it? No, because we now live on a boat. But Broadway in the Cotswolds, well, well worth a visit. Look, Mrs. B behind, look at her. <laughs> She's doing a social media. <sighs> Broadway has a number of public houses. Ours, that we used to frequent. Fairly often, certainly every Saturday, because they used to have lovely, lovely live music, is the Crown and Trumpet. Again, I feel as though I work for the Broadway Tourist Information Office. But if you're in, in the vicinity, and you want a nice pint and a nice plate of food, let me zoom in. That place there, Crown and Trumpet. Yeah, the road we're on, about a mile and a half, you come to a village called Snows Hill. And if you're a fan of Bridget Jones's diary, they uh, shot one of the opening scenes there. Snow's Hill, about a mile up this road. Oh, all the lambs. We'll probably get to see a lamb today, Mrs B, won't we? Yeah. Mind you, we did one day, didn't we? We did visit um, Country File. Gavin, is it Gavin? Oh, no, no, it was Adam's, Adam's Adam, Farm. Adam's Farm, of Country File. Google it, Google it. It's a beautiful farm yeah. and it's a lovely, lovely guy. And it's about 15 miles from here. Yeah. And, and we, we had a trip out, didn't we? We did, and we saw a, he had all the sheep in pens and they were in different pens depending on how um oh sorry when they'd been born and i think we watched one or we sorry we were in one pen where the sheep had been born 30 minutes earlier i put my teeth in it's cold there were just lots of little baby yeah. lambs and everything it was so cute that uh, was lovely right come on let's go see if we can find a lamb Should have also said in the crown and trumpet <laughs> i don't do all that celeb stuff i was in there one night minding my own business having <laughs> i was having a steak and kidney pie and chips and i didn't realize but for about an hour well about half an hour this is before you met me this is before i met obviously the lovely mrs bonneville for about half an hour the pub went eerily quiet because i'm sat eating me tea and there's a lady sat next to me, just merrily chatting away. I was minding my own business, so was she. But we were just having a little chat. Anyway, about half an hour later, she gets up and walks out. The landlord of the pub came up to me and went, Darren, you have no idea who that was. Liz Hurley. That's right, isn't it, Mrs B? Liz Hurley. Yes, and you know what? 
It couldn't have been Rita Faircloth, could it? Because she lives here as well. Rita from Coronation Street. Google that. It could have been sat with Rita, who's 86. Not I, Liz Early, who's gorgeous and beautiful. She was an attractive woman, but I tell you what, even Mrs B doesn't take precedence over my steak and kidney pie. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> sky for aren't we Mrs B? What does my sister always say? We're not made of sugar so we're not going to melt. Correct. Maybe this channel is turning into a horticultural gardener's world channel but look at that tree. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm gonna take you past the house now. That uh, can't do can't do too much filming for obvious reasons but it is the most wonderfully it's almost fairy fairy tale house. Let's just show you. And we've just noticed it's for sale. Yours for probably 300, 400,000 pound. What am I saying? Probably a million. <laughs> we are in the Cotswolds. <laughs> Worcestershire. But I'm still, uh, I'm still glad we're living on our... Oh, we're, ne we, we're, we're not going back to land. I think we know that. Look love at us. Love it. Oh, we so love Broadway. Close to our heart, but, but we love our boat more. Our boat. Oh, that's our home. Yeah, isn't it? boat life. Floaters. Hey, YouTube. There's a tree behind us, which is a tree, but it's significant for us. We had a photo. I took a photo of Mrs. Bonneville there about six, seven years ago, and when I lost my wallet recently, my photo was in it. So I've just taken another one. She's not weathered well. I'm, oh, a I'm bit, joking. I'm a, I'm a bit, bit bigger. <laughs> Well, only a little bit. You're not a lot. She's not a bit bigger. She's, in my opinion, she's more beautiful now than she was six years ago. But there you go. Right, we've got a walk. Look, we've got a walk. Everything's up on this walk for the first, well, half of now, it. If you're wondering about Mrs. Bonneville's limp today, she's got a, uh, I don't know, I think she's broke both her toes. Well, I've got me, me knee. You all know about me, <laughs> me arthritis in my knee. And on that same leg, the two middle toes, for some reason, about a week and a half ago, just all of a sudden started hurting. So I'm having to walk with my toes straight like that. Um, I, if it carries on, I'll, I'll speak to the doctor, but at the moment I'm walking through it. Things so. are falling off me wife. I love her, I love her. Get better soon, Mrs B. <laughs> You know when you say you can tell the age of a tree by all the I think it's the outer rings or the rings. That's an old tree. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. <laughs> I'll see you in a few hours. <laughs> We haven't filmed much because all we've done is walk up hill. Oh. Listen to us. <laughs> I think things have fallen off me. Mind you, I've got a flask of tomato soup and a flask of coffee, which we're going to enjoy. There you go. We've just got to walk over that little crest and oh. then it's all downhill. Well, that's it. Yeah. We're not bad for a couple of old crinklies, are we've we? Come. You'll see how far we've come when we show you when we get to the tower. The view. I have, and it's like that. Yes. So from, from that point onwards up there, it's all downhill. Yeah. Oh, just a little update YouTubers. We are, as you can see, in the middle of the countryside, in the Cotswolds. And um, sometimes cities and towns get a bad rap for rubbish. No matter where you are, this beautiful walk, there is rubbish each side of the hedgerow. We've seen mattresses, we've seen cushions. I'm having a rant. What the d 
Dickens is the matter with folk. And take your crap home. Cans. Cans people, of lager. Are people drinking. Oh are dear driving? God. Don't get me wrong, no yeah. one likes a beer more than me and Mrs. Oh, B. We love, we love drinking. <sighs> but take your rubbish home with you. Take Honest to God. Drink while you're in the car. <sighs> We're not gonna be happy until we destroy this planet. There you go, rant over. Ranty, ranty, rant. Ooh. I'm just waiting for Mrs. Bonneville to come back because um, we're at Broadway Town to do a nice little picnic and where we've um, got a cold drink from they've got um, some nice little gifts and I've just suggested she go treat herself to a nice little handbag and a bobble hat. What have you got in there Mrs B? Let me show you. Because she's a little star. <laughs> Very good. Without the, without the, without price the tag. Tag. I'm not going to show you the price tag for either. This <laughs> is Bonneville walking around with the 360 camera. She loves that camera. She used to get so much use out of it when we're on a motorbike. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> round the tree, look. Come back, Mrs. B, all is forgiven. Here she comes up. She's coming back. Okay. Oh, look at her limping. We just had a lovely little picnic. A little bit of apple juice to finish. Mrs. Bonner was just put all the rubbish away. Broadway Tower is just in front of us, folks. Mrs. Bonneville, look, she's put a new hat on already. Oh, it's right now, so <laughs> Should be, cost a fortune. It did. <laughs> right, oh, oh. we're going down from the it's tower. It's freezing, oh god, it's freezing. This is me. Social media, you bobble that. Right, come on, Mrs. B, we need to get down this hill. Yeah. Mr. B is doing the 360. Is it me or does he just look really weird? Down we go, back into Broadway. And as I say, if you do come, this is called the Tower Circular Walk. So when you get to the top, look for the Tower Circular Walk. You can see, look, there's Broadway yeah. just there in the There's distance. Broadway just in the distance. And then you'll see a lady opening a kissing gate for you with a bobble hat on. But you're not allowed to kiss her. No. But you are allowed to ask her how her wonky knee and toes are getting on. Right, kissing gate. <laughs> oh, we're halfway down. And again, on a sunny day, Broadway in front of you, folks. And there's a couple of benches there, look, three benches for you to sit. As I say, said benches, they're a bit big. I feel like a borrower. <laughs> Broadway High Street. Let me just turn you around and show you. 
This is the uh, high street, which you've seen on dozens of postcards and images on the internet. And it featured on one of the episodes of Unforgotten. If you've ever seen that detective thing, again, Google it. it was, this street was, uh, was on that, I think one of the... And just behind me, folks, is the Ligon Arms, one of the finest hotels, certainly, certainly in the Cotswolds. Wonderful. And um, just there is um, where, yes, where Mrs. Bonneville is, yeah? That's where we had one of our first dates. Yes, absolutely. Mrs. Bonneville had a beautiful, beautiful black dress on. Beautiful. And really high heeled shoes. Yes, those were the days. Now, now, now she's got big knees and long Wellingtons. And living Wellingtons. <laughs> we will pick back up with you on stage two of this vlog. We don't know what stage two of this vlog will be. It might not even be a stage two. Mrs. Bonneville, concentrate. She's Sorry. looking at a dog. No, there's concentrate a cat. in the camera. Look at the cat. Yeah, oh. never mind about the cat for a minute. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, okay, goodbye. Okay. There you go, fella. Show Mrs. Bonneville. Put that in. Hey, just another day on the marina. Mr. Heron, he's on the hunt. Aren't you, fella? Hey? Aren't they prehistoric? Walks like me when I'm looking for food in the kitchen. <laughs> We set up the rod. Yes. So I am fishing. There's no hook on there though, is there? You haven't got a hook on, you just got the bread on, haven't you? Yes, good morning folks. Just sat outside by the boat. And our morning visit. Just doing his patrol, scaring off the geese. I kid you not, that's all this guy does. Ten years ago, I was a different man. <laughs> Back in. It's about an hour and a half to walk up here, hasn't it? Why are you trying to tell Gloucestershire? I'm allowed. I don't always know I'm being like. I think my ear is going to something else. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, still filming me. I don't know what I'm doing. Was it filming me? Let's turn around. Let's turn around with the camera. Hop <laughs> <laughs> along with a new app. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs>